one. Seems like we just met yesterday. <laughs> ah, admittedly, I'm feeling a little, I don't know, what's the word, tired or worn out or something, but uh, hopefully this singing can uh, lift our spirits up and give us some more, a uh, little bit more of that energy to make it to the end of the day. Some of you guys are about ready to turn in. I noticed that uh, Fanny on our text messaging, she had said something to the effect that she had a whole list of things that were really uh, wearing on her, and she said she's uh, she's hoping that Mark will sing some things about rest tonight. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, here we are joining in together in song and fellowship in the living room sing along, unrehearsed, unedited. Just come on in and kick off your shoes and. Get yourself a bowl of popcorn and all that good stuff. Hey, Tom's picking and grinning tonight. That's good. Hi, Tom. Hello, Cora. I wish I could have said hello to all of you, but while I was playing mouth organ, that was pretty hard to do. You could have, I guess, honey. You could read off the names and say hi. <laughs> Upstate New York. All right. Lancaster, PA. Lancaster is how the Amish say it, right? Hello from Maryland. There's New Holland. Anyway, we're going to sing a song called The Wonder of Wonders, talking about the wonders of our Lord. The wonder of wonders, as she looked on his face, that this little boy spoke the world into place. The stars and the moon shone brightly on them. The earth and God became flesh and was given for me. The Almighty came down and walked among men. The wonder of wonders, He died for my 
listen. We're going to take that up. The wonder of wonders, as she looked down and smiled, that he was her maker as well as her child. He created the moon that had given him birth. He was God incarnate, come down to the earth. The wonder of wonders, oh how could it be? The God sins and that is a miracle i'll tell you how in the world does god become flesh and walk among us and not only that then he comes and lives inside of us so wow his holy spirit that's just amazing all right here's another one let's do this one yet honey am i the soldier of the cross of father I love the idea of the battle being over, right? <laughs> when we get home. Good to see you all tonight. Hello, Naomi Zimmerman. There we got Lorene Burkholder and Marlis Yoder. And there's the layman gal up there. Carly Charlita, I wonder if you are a relative of Ron and Eileen Lehman here in uh, Oregon. I'm not sure if you are or not, but it'd be interesting to know. I was going to check it out, but I didn't get it done. Well, hello, Gerald Miller from Virginia. There's Eva Gingrich and Carol Schnapp. Schnapp? Schnapp? Is that how you say that? Schnapp? All right. Like school, Schnapp. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Anyway, welcome tonight. You want to try to do this one, honey? I've got to switch to the bass on this one. It's, each day I'll do. So then you got to do the soprano line, but we can try it. Each day I'll... we got to pitch it down, though. Uh oh, that might make it too low for me. We'll try. Each day I'll do a golden deed by helping those who are in need. My life on earth is but a span, and so I'll do the best I can. Life's evening 
song we changed it our, we had a, a, a quartet of men what Joyce. oh Joyce on the 168 in Cumberland all right <laughs> they're heading up to their daddy's father her father-in-law's funeral their dad's funeral right or maybe he the passed moment, away. he passed away anyway they're going wow yeah sad to hear that um, our condolences and sympathy to you there um, yeah, I had some good memories of Clark Yoder. He passed away, and I remember him coming to Delaware uh, annually to do our auction for the school auction. And good friend there. He liked to give me a hard time and, about uh, trying to auctioneer myself too. <laughs> but he was a, he was he was good. He was I really liked the way he did our benefit auction. I think he made our school a lot of money by knowing how to do it, right? <laughs> But anyway, back to the uh, Life's Evening Sun song, the Beautiful Life song. We had a quartet of boys that wanted to take a song to convention, and uh, but I didn't want them to sing Life's Evening Sun. He's singing low, a few more days and I'm at school because these guys are young people. So we put the verse, each day I'll do, into the chorus and omitted that chorus and, you, and sang the other verses. And uh, we couldn't believe it. These guys had not sung together that much, but they did fairly good at regionals, good enough to go on to internationals. And when he got to internationals, lo and behold, they won first place. Remember that? That was so cool. Shocked all of us. And I was one of the judges, and I wasn't that nice to them. <laughs> but anyway, matter of fact, I think they made me put my score up because you're not allowed to have a score when you judge. You weren't allowed to be that more than so many points away from the rest of the judges or something to kind of keep things fair. Hey, that's from our What It's Worth Department. Good memories of you guys singing it. Oh, my lands. Who was it? Greg Pritchett, I think? And uh, no, no, it was Jonathan Schwarzentruber and Zachary Schwarzentruber, I think, in that group, wasn't it? Oh, man, I'm getting messed up. Anyway, who we got here, huh? What's your request? Hey, Nathan Glick requested Fill My Cup. Fill My Cup. We had some good times with the competitions and music at conventions. Our school got to go to the ACE conventions, and yeah. Fill up my cup. Is this Amazing Grace, How Sweet the Sound cup or the other one? Fill up. It is? Oh, not fill my cup, Lord. Okay. All right, Nathan, this is for you, my friend. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I found was blind, but now I see. Fill up my cup. Fill up my cup. and the bass. All right. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to Him belong. They are weak, but He is strong. Fill up my cup, fill it up, let it overflow. Fill up my cup, fill it up, let it overflow. Fill up my cup, fill Fill up 
So let me ask you a question. If you're carrying a cup of coffee and somebody bumps you and you spill coffee on the rug, what happened? Why did you spill coffee on the rug? Well, the most people say, because I got bumped. And I say, no, because there was coffee in your cup. So my point is, what's inside of you comes out. Amen? That's why we need to have pure hearts. Remember that little prayer we used to sing? Creating me a clean heart, oh, oh, oh God, and renew the right spirit within me. Creating me a clean heart, oh, oh, oh God, and renew the right spirit within me. Cast tell you what, renew a right spirit within me. I needed that song. I think the Lord just kind of gave that to me. <laughs> Where are we going next, hon? Okay, Mark Skillen requested, Oh, How He Loves You. All right, you. Mark Skillen. This is for you, my friend. I hope you're here to enjoy it. All right. Oh, how he loves you and me. When you think about the love of God, you gotta join in this song. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh, oh my soul, worship His holy name. Sing like that. Your 
thousand reasons for my heart to find. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, I worship His holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, I worship Your holy name. Yes, I. Bless you tonight, Lord. You're an amazing God. We love you. We honor you. I tell you what. Oh man, I just thought about asking. I know. Um, was it Fanny or Annie had said that Ruth should sing a little louder, please? But you know what the problem is? I sing too loud. I'm constantly forgetting to try to back off a little bit because I get so excited. I get so excited when I get around music. And uh, yeah, <laughs> thank you for joining us tonight. I hope you had a wonderful day. The weather here in Oregon was like numero uno perfecto. It was awesome. You couldn't have got it better. Not too warm, not too hot, no humidity. Nice. Oh, man. Anyway, I'll leave it go. Now would have been a time for you to drive through Oregon and see some of the beauty there. Although we have to admit, I think the forest fires might still be gone some I'm not sure hey Fanny said worship lifts the soul and blesses his holy name yes Fanny and I got a special song picked out for you because you were wanting you're feeling old and aged and you need rest I got a special song for you we're going to divert a little bit is that okay honey yeah. just for my sister Fanny who taught me everything I need to know about music <laughs> <laughs> just kidding Okay, let me see here. Where is it? I saw it somewhere. Oh, 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 come on here. I gotta find there it is. It's it's a, it's to the tune of my favorite things, and it's about what old people have for their favorite things. Come on, Mark, where's it at? Grab it and get it here. That's not it there. That's one of them. There's two pages though. Oh, okay, there we go. Now we got it. Yeah, so I didn't practice this much. I just sang through a little bit. And so, yeah, this is, these are a few of my favorite things dedicated to my old sister, Fanny and Marianne, my sisters. Botox and nose drops and needles for knitting, walkers and handrails and new dental fittings, bundles of magazines tied up in strings. These are a few of my favorite things. Cadillacs and cataracts, hearing aids and glasses, photodent and fixodent and false teeth in glasses, pacemakers, golf carts, and porches with swings. These are a few of my favorite things. When the pipes leak, when the bones creak, when the knees go bad, I simply remember my favorite and corn pads for bunions, no spicy hot foods or food cooked with onions, bath robes and heating pads, hot meals they bring, these are a few of my favorite things. Back pain, confused brains, no meat for sinning, thin bones and fractures and hair that is thinning. And we won't mention our short sunken frames When we remember our favorite things When the joints ache, when the hips break When my eyes grow dim Oh dear Fanny Then I remember that life that I've had Though I love it, <laughs> I got you, Fanny. <laughs> oh my! And Marianne, <laughs> I don't know if Marianne's on tonight or not. Yeah, Is she okay? 
Hey, who asked for this one? I love this song. Okay. Dean and Rosie Martin requested the music of heaven. But you know what? I don't know if we can do it. You have to do the that high part. Oh wait, yeah, maybe don't not. Have to do it. Yeah, yeah, let's try let's let's try a little bit. Do, do, C, A, B, C, D. We'll go to D. Do, do, me. The music of heaven is sweeter in measure and purer in every strain than the music of earth that it fills us with pleasure as it thrillingly rolls o'er the valleys and of heaven is grander in rhyming than any that mortal were toned and the music of glory forever are chiming with the songs that arise to the Savior and throne oh music of music of heaven so rich and so sweet what joy The music of heaven, no mortal can sing it, save he who attunes his poor soul. At the throne of the Father, to swell and to ring it, with the angels make, make it through paradise roll. Help us out now. Oh, music of heaven, so rich and so sweet, won't joy. The music of heaven comes from a heart, right? Where Jesus is. And then also, when we get to heaven, it'll really be beautiful. Speaking about getting to heaven, a while back, the Mullets sang a song that just impressed me. And it's so beautiful because it's talking about when you're in the room of someone who's passing away. And I've had the chance to do that some. And uh, it can be a challenging time. But uh, think about this. I love this testimony. What's the matter? Oh, I'm sorry. Am I putting too many songs in here? All right, all right. I'm adding some of these. She's close to death, but she is not afraid. Angels waiting for the order to carry her away. They've gathered around her bedside. She's the only one who sees. She will draw her final breath. And away with them she'll leave Angels in the room She's run her final race They come to carry her to heaven There to see her Savior's face Angels in the room To take her to her great reward No need for sadness or gloom there are angels in the room. He's not longing for this world. There's a better one to come. He's thinking about that great reunion with the Father and the Son. His family by his bedside. He says, children, can't you see? Angels gathering all around us. It's time for me to leave. Angels in the room, he's run his final race. They come to carry him to heaven, there to see his Savior's face. Angels in the room, to take him to his great reward. No need for sadness or gloom, there are angels in When it comes your time for leaving And you 
see the lights of home. You won't have to worry, friend. You won't leave alone. Cause there's angels in the room. You run your final race. They come to carry you to heaven. There to see the Savior's face. Angels in the room to take you to Sadness or gloom, there are angels in the room. No need for sadness or gloom, there are angels in the room. I just had a neat testimony from a dear brother in Christ. He's saying this way. He said, you know, we used to run the race. Boy, he was a he was a preacher that knew his Bible. Anyway. We used to run the race. He said, now as I got older here, I was just walking, just walking to walk. And he said, now I feel like I'm starting to go through. And I said, what do you mean go through? And he said, go through the valley of the shadow of death. And there was no fear there. There was just a, a reality there in his testimony. Oh, wow. Mark and Darlene Wagner, you're, Darlene, you lost your 98-year-old home. To, to, oh, wow. Your aunt, okay, sorry for your loss there. But happy for her gain if she was a believer, amen? Yeah, Robert Biggs, we know I'll fly away. But you know what? I better get, we can do that some. Should we do that now or later? I'll fly away. Do it next time. It's up there. Do it now, next time. I can do it by memory. Wait, is, we're waiting. is Trevor waiting to come up? Okay, let's go ahead. What do you got here? We'll get back to that one, Robert. Um, Irene Shearer requested Surely Goodness and Mercy. Irene, this is a great song too. Yeah, taken right out of Psalms 23, right? We really believe that goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our life. Lord knows I need it. <laughs> all right, let's sing this one together. A pilgrim was I in a wondering In the cold night of sin I did like you need some rest and some restoring. Verse 2. He restoreth my soul when I'm weary. He giveth me strength day by day. He leads me beside the still waters. He guards me each step of the way. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the day. back in your rearview mirror, you'll see that He has followed you. God has given you so many blessings and so many opportunities. Um, and I know that, uh, you know, I don't know all the ones you had, but I know my God and I know how merciful and how gracious He is. What do we got now, hon? Um, let's see here. Susanna Griffith requests that when we all get to heaven... Griffith, I appreciate you requesting this song. Don't forget that last line. We'll sing and shout to victory. Oh, by the way, I like to make words sound like they're supposed to sound like um, when we sing the word hush. The birds hush their singing 
or uh, other things like that. Well, when we get to shout, make sure you sing, we'll sing and shout the victory, okay? <laughs> there is lesson tip number five from our What It's Worth department. All right. Let me see, what key here? C, C. In G, I think. C, C, C. Yeah, G. <laughs> if I get the right bit that way, sing, sing, sing. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Sing His mercy and His grace. In the mansions, bright and blessed, He'll prepare for us a place. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. You gotta take a verse. Go ahead, honey. While we walk. While we walk the pilgrim pathway, clouds will overspread the sky. But when traveling days are over, not a shadow or a sign. When we all get to I hope it's not a sign of what's going to happen to me when I get to heaven. But I said, we shall spread the streets of gold. So maybe I'm going to be a paver up there. I, 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 I don't know how to pave with gold. <laughs> oh, man, that was fun. All right. <laughs> oh, here we got a good one. Okay, Eileen Miller requested all of you square. Now we're going to go right from here to here to here this time, right? Okay. All right, we'll try that, see how it works. Who, did, who was that, Eileen Miller? All right, thank you, Eileen, for that request. Hallelujah Square. I saw a blind man tapping along, losing his way as he passed through the throng. Tears filled my eyes, I said, friend, can't see with a smile on his face, he replied to me. Then I saw a cripple dragging his feet, he couldn't walk like we do down the street. I said, My friend, I feel so sorry for you, but he said. Well, I'll see all my friends in Hallelujah Square. What a wonderful time we will all have up there. We'll sing and praise Jesus, His glory to share. And you'll not see one cripple in Hallelujah Square. Boy, don't look so blue. I'm going up to heaven. Well, how about you? Yes, I'll see all my friends in Hallelujah Square. What a wonderful time we will all have up there. We'll sing and praise Jesus, His glory to share, and we'll all. Ever in Hallelujah Square. 
yes, we'll all live forever in hallelujah square. Amen. Woo. Yeah, that was an old mountain so anthem song. I think I heard it first with the cathedral. Somebody said they heard it first with the mountain anthems. By the way, somebody said they were here from Kansas. Are you getting some of the smoke from the West Coast? I heard that our smoke is no longer here, but it's blowing across the, uh, blowing the other direction. And somebody said it was in, in Europe somewhere. Our smoke, the smoke from this wow. place. We put out a lot of smoke, I'm telling you. Yeah, where there's fire, there's smoke, I guess, right? Anyway, that was totally off the subject. Oh, I know why I saw somebody from Kansas. All right, hey, it's kitty time. All right. Some of you children are supposed to be sleeping. I know it because a mama said she puts the laptop in the hallway and lets them listen to it. <laughs> I love it. Okay, kids, join in singing. You don't have to be sleeping yet. <laughs> oh, man. All right, the butterfly song. Did somebody ask for this? I love this song. If I were a butterfly, I'd thank you, Lord, for giving me wings. And if I were a robin in a tree, I'd thank you, Lord, that I could sing. And if I were a fish in the sea, I'd wiggle my tail and I'd giggle with glee. But I just thank you, Father, for making me be. For you gave me a heart and you gave me a smile. You gave me If I were an elephant, I'd thank you, Lord, by raising my trunk. And if I were a kangaroo, you know, I'd just hop right up to you. And if I were an octopus, I'd thank you, Lord, for my good looks. So I just thank you, Father, for making me be. For you gave me a heart and you gave me a smile. You gave me and you made me your child And I just thank you, Father, for making me be We should put a verse on there If I were a popcorn in the singing room <laughs> We better wait <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what Good to see you, popcorn How you been? Did you have a good day? Yeah, all right, you've been doing great Good to see you, my friend Did you know that people kind of like to see you up here And Doing the motions and going with the music. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like it. Welcome to our living room sing-along popcorn. By the way, you don't have fleas, do you? No fleas? Okay. Did you have a bath, popcorn? When's... No. <laughs> no bath. You remind me a little bit of the doggies that go along on the fire trucks. Have you been to any fires lately? No, no. <laughs> All right. Well, we're glad you're here, popcorn. Seems to me there's something I was going to say before I said that. Oh, bummer. Oh, well, go ahead. What do we got? Hey, LaDonna requested. Oh, LaDonna, our sister. I mean, our daughter. Popcorn's sister. Ooh, ooh, hear the wind blow. Ooh, ooh, hear the wind blow. Jesus is there. Be not afraid. make one up. Go, go to sleep. Go, go to sleep. May your sleep be nice and sweet. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that was, that was not good. That was not inspired. Anyway, kids, hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> Hey, Nathan Good, who's four years old, Nathan. requested the doggy song. Nathan wanted the doggy song. Well, imagine that, Nathan. This is for you. He likes the doggy. You want to sell the doggy, Nathan? How much is that doggy in the window? The one with the waggly tail. How much is that doggy in the window? I do hope 
for that dog he's for sale I don't want whoops I must take a trip to California and to leave my poor sweetheart alone don't want to do it if she has a dog she won't be lonely that's right and the dog he will have a good home so how much is that doggy in the window? <coughs> the one with the waggly tail. Ooh. How much is that doggy in the window? <coughs> I do hope that dog is for sale. I read in the paper there were robbers with flashlights that shine in the dark. My love needs a doggy to protect her and chase them away with one bark. Whoa! How much is that doggy in the window? <coughs> the one with the waggly tail. Ooh. How much is that doggy in the window? <coughs> I do hope that dog is for sale. I don't want a bunny or a kitty. Ew. I don't want a poodle that barks. <laughs> I don't want a bowl of little fishies. Fish splash! Cause you can't take a goldfish for a walk. So how much is that doggy in the window? <coughs> the one with the waggly tail. Ooh. How much is that real inspired tonight with my word changing am I <laughs> we sold the puppy Woohoo! no we didn't sell him by the way I noticed I'm gonna have to put my camera up we got a little bit of of the doggy's head cut off up there you see that looks like he's had a crew cut or something <laughs> do we have another kid song or are we done with the kids song all right all right see you later popcorn thanks for joining us my friend <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 gotta blow the whistle. Does that mean the kids have to go to sleep now? I didn't say that, kids. Not for you. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, that'd be a good one last. All right. There is a candle. That's the wrong pitch. There is a candle in every soul. Some brightly burning, some dark and cold. There is a spirit who brings a fire, ignites a candle, and makes his home. So carry your candle, run to the darkness, seek out the Try to light his own candle some other way. And see now your sister, she's been robbed and lied to, still holds the candle without a flame. So carry your candle, run to the darkness, seek out the Tired and worn, hold out your candle for all to see it. Take your candle, go light your world. Take your candle, go light your world. Cause we're a family whose hearts.
hearts are blazing, let's raise our candles and light up the sky, praying to our Father, in the name of Jesus, make us a beacon in the darkest opportunity we have to take our candle and go light the world. Seems to me um, there was something happened in a school, I think maybe Mark's school. I just see that students need your candle to help them face the days ahead. Yeah, let's do that for fun. I had another for fun song in here. We had some more love. We got to do some love songs and things, right? Yeah. All right, let's do this one. Wait, did you want to do a for fun song first? I got one in here. You know what I've been missing? Sort of. I've been missing going to ball games, you know. I mean, I'm not talking necessarily professional ball games. I've not been to many of those. I remember going to one one time. Trevor had a cool story. We um, our, we had a, uh, a student at school, Trent Yoder, who uh, had to have his, amp, his leg amputated because of cancer. Young man, very active, very athletic, and had to make adjustments. The crazy thing was that when he got his... How do you call it? Prosthetic it's prosthetic leg. leg. It, he had some kind of irritation, infection, that was, wouldn't go away. So every step was very painful. And it stayed and stayed. But finally he worked his way through that. And he got to go to Philadelphia, to the Philadelphia Phillies game, and go out on the pitcher's mound and throw a pitch, the first pitch of the game. What was it called? Something about dreams. Anyway, so Trevor and I, we decide to go. Watch um, this. No, no. I was... Yeah, you were gone. Darkness was taking me home. I was crying like a little kid. Why? Because you couldn't go? Because I couldn't go. Right. And then All I, right. Anyway, we decided to go. So we, we headed up there, but we hadn't bought tickets. So I'm wondering, how's this going to be, buying real expensive tickets? We hadn't bought them ahead of time. We're walking up to the gate, and some guy came out, some gentleman, and he said, hey, you guys need tickets? And I'm like... Do we need tickets? Yes. We were just going to go up and buy some. He said, well, our company gives us tickets, and I have two extra, and it's in a special seating place. It was the VPI seating. It was VIP. awesome, VIP. <laughs> <laughs> VIP seating, and we got to watch Trent throw that first pitch from there. Never forget that. Anyway, I said all that because I miss ball games. Take me, take me. Uh oh, I can never start this. Take me out to the out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. I got it. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. I don't care if I ever get back for it's root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. To the ball game, take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. I don't care if I ever get back for its root to toot in the. <laughs> I lost it. I yeah 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 yeah. Oh man, one two three strikes you out. I struck out. Sorry guys. Give that, put that thing out of here. I don't even want to see it anymore. I don't even want to go to a ball game anymore after I sang it like that. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Anyway, now we'll switch some subjects here. <laughs> Except it seems to me there was another for fun one I wanted to sing tonight. What was it? Uh, no, I don't. Oh, well, the, no. Let, let's do the love songs. All right. Yeah, we got happy anniversary in there. I don't know if it's anybody's anniversary, though. Let's do the wedding song. You remember this? 
Yeah, we goofed. That was a train wreck, guys. A train wreck in a ballpark. He's not. Boy, that don't have the right keys. Yeah, I gotta get that other piece of music for that one. Sorry about that, honey. We do have a love song, though. We had each for the other here somewhere, didn't we? I was almost sure I saw that one. Well, I did yeah, what happened to it? Did you throw it down or by mistake? Huh. Oh, shucks. Well, we could sing one verse of that. for sure. That one just left me. Here's an old one that I used to like to hear, Roy Rogers thing, I think. Yeah, called Happy Anniversary. So if any of you are close, this is for you. <laughs> I've watched the gold in your hair turn silver Tell its age. Well, its meaning we will cherish forever. And in the book of our lives, it's just a page. So, darling, have. fun one that I have adapted so that an old man can sing it. I think the newsboys wrote it and performed it and made it popular called We Believe. Join in on this one. Oh, there. Okay. That was for you, Miss uh, Erna Hoover. <laughs> All right. 23rd anniversary, huh? Let's see here. How do I do this one? In this time of desperation When all we know is doubt and There is only one foundation We believe, we believe In this broken generation 
when all is dark, you help us see. There is only one salvation. We believe, we believe, we believe in God the Father, we believe in Jesus Christ, we believe in the Holy Spirit, and that He's given us new life. We believe in the crucifixion, we believe that He conquered. We believe in the resurrection and that he's coming back again, we believe. So let our faith be more than echoes, greater than the songs we sing. In our weakness and temptations, we believe, we believe. We believe in the Holy Spirit and that He's given us new life. We believe in the crucifixion. We believe that He conquered death. We believe in the resurrection and that He's coming back again. We believe. We Do you behold our God? Or the Let's go to the beautiful garden. Yeah, this is a beautiful old song from way back. James Fillmore, who's one of my favorite arrangers, I think. Wait, James Fillmore? No, it wasn't him. Somebody in the life song that wrote all those very singable ones that I so like. Anyway, James Fillmore wrote this one, The Beautiful Garden. Or I'm, I'm sorry, he put this one to music. There's a garden where Jesus is waiting. There's a place that is wondrously fair, for it glows with the light of His presence. Is a beautiful garden of prayer. Oh, the beautiful garden. that I'll fly away.
someday we will fly away with him. All righty then. <clears throat> Should we wrap up here? All right. We want to do a fay right of ours now. Talking about the beautiful, awesome creation that God made, including people and nature and all those things. Behold our God. Who has held the oceans in his hand? Who has numbered every grain of sand? Kings and nations tremble at his voice. All creation rises to song tonight that was requested. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, this good evening of singing. Yeah, we did some... Okay, Donna Marie Headings requested, Bless Be the Tie. All right, Bless Be the Tie that binds. Yeah, this is a very familiar hymn that we sang in many times in many places, right? Let me see, we'll do this in D, I think. Do me. No, let's go to E. What's that? Good song for the living room. Good song for the living room, that's right. Bless be he the tie that binds our hearts in Christian love. The fellowship of kindred minds is light to that above. Father, we thank you. 
for the opportunity of singing your praises again tonight, for the opportunity of being part of this living room sing-along. Father God, we thank you most of all for the wonderful opportunity of being part of the family, belonging brother or sister of Christ, in Christ through Jesus Christ. What a tremendous blessing that is for us. We pray for our country. We pray for healing, for the brokenness, the evil. We pray that the light would shine from the believers and would drive away the darkness and that, uh, Lord, we would repent as a nation. We would come to you. We would find you, Jesus, uh, each person that is struggling, that they would come to you and find you as Lord and Savior of their lives. Father, we pray for each one in this living room. Bring peace where peace is needed. Joy, hope, and love where, where that is needed as well. You know our needs, Lord, and we just lift ourselves up to you. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. God bless you all. See y'all later. Let me see. Today is Tuesday, so we won't see you till Thursday night. Lord willing, the creek don't rise. Y'all be good now. <laughs>